Connect! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah! That'll be inside. Geert von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering, who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The Wild Ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mans. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm all geared. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geert von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey, you think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Master Witcher. Chests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Algeard. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Cheers! Ottoman, sir. You're a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri school. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. Ooh. I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. 
very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman all geared. Long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. This some special occasion? Or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her! Fair Sabre, I dub thee Traditiana! <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Hey. She went to a fair with a sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours.
Halabas. Galavec Khan. Gadarash Ail Vrut. come to and it can speak human turns out started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket where where am I on the albatross on the fuck bath oil it's their strange tongue has it on route to a fear don't remember signing on as a sailor <laughs> oh you didn't mate they dragged you aboard Seems you killed that prince. Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. I happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by the king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wait to their honor. That of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. We been at sea long? Uh, Dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand... <laughs> but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? Hey, I'm glad to be sailing to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not black horses with white stripes? Hey, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. And who might you be? Felipe Caligran, at your service. Petty thief, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. Not up a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut up. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. Tried to break out yet? Bah. Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be my Ophiris, Rusty. My Ophiris non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. El Cal! Orial! What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Alakal Sorkan! Galabat Kar U Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gilea Palar! Carvaretaner! You'd be dead already. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Valf Alakhe Ul Egulath. What? El Kal! Vyalf. Vyalf Alkhe Ul Egulath. El Kal. Inkal Avrik Kel Ugeherevn Ulvitar. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? While them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, oh, there's this mercenary with them. Look 
Luke Zidanian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage what leads them knows a bit. Heard him talking, but I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? Not really. Gauntaro Din, known also as Master Mirror. We met in Quite Orchard. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return a favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, beneath the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. you gabbing with? With... no one. Oh, never like Moat. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. Bargain for no storm. I fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we're doing with the other? The other drought. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. What kind of hell? Tarring, slaying, and watering. This is a punishment for regicided males.
I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans? Elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everich. Don't know why he's on your shit list, but I've got no quarrel with him. I believe you do, but have yet to realize it. Olgierd von Everich did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. There was a light drizzle. Yet the cold tore right through you. All gear had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact, and that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? 
A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Orgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how should I put it? A proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Orgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. <sighs> All seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Orgeard. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Fine. I'll go see Orgeard with you. But no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Look who's here! The witch you with a stick up his ass! What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fiery pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ate with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! And you tell me now! I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Whoa. Nerves a little raw? Why? You death! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know. Sod off! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off! We've work to do. Wait. I know Ogeard wants him dead. Still don't know why, though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really. Just curious. 
cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. What is this row? Are you not done with it? My ears wither from the screams. Ah, Geralt. As you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not no! been there? You killed my father! Not I. You lie, Horson! That man killed him. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. Now, where were we? Really necessary, that whole show? Ugh, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. what this is. I cannot be certain, but I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plough through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gortero did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgierd grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life and a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come, 
Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Could have told me the truth about the toad. Having a bit of fun at my expense? I simply wanted the base dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody affair mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah. I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved, while I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. Brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? 
Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Ogird's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. The necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt. Geralt. Geralt, aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Every blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt. I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. 